Good afternoon and welcome to the next instalment of my Strength is Within Aconcagua again uh, vlog series and uh, what I thought I'd do today is uh, geek you out on some kit because um, I've actually got it all out or 90% of it out uh, just to take for a photograph for a blog piece that I'm writing on the kit needed for Aconcagua. So uh, as I've got it all laid out on the floor down here um, I might as well take you to uh, Geeksville and show you uh, the extent of the kit. Like I say, this isn't all of it. This is like 90% of it, given a few small items like pants and socks, leaving the glamorous stuff. So uh, anyway, yeah, without further ado, I will take you through some of this kit. Okay, so I've uh, got one big rucksack, uh, 65 to uh, 75 litres, one day sack. I've got one of two um duffel bags 100 litre i've got another one upstairs uh next we're on to the boots high altitude boots and walking boots <clears throat> the walking boots are winter uh scarpa sharmas which i'm i think i'm going to take because i'll be able to use them on some higher camps hopefully uh without having to wear the big ones from uh from base camp upwards uh waterproof gear mountain equipment both of those then we're coming on to uh, some lightweight down trousers for use further down the mountain. Uh, we've also got here a couple of mid layers, Hagloff fleece. And a new addition, I've recently bought that as a mountain equipment hard shell. Um, got a Rab uh, Electron jacket, uh, which is a mid-weight down jacket. Then just above that is my Summit jacket, right next to the PH Designs Summit trousers as well. Moving over, uh, I've got an inflatable sleeping mat there, mountain equipment, and also the high quality um, foldable um, high density PVA mat as well. My, my main trekking trousers, windproof. Uh, I actually wore those to the summit last time like an idiot. I would fail to get to the summit, but uh, definitely not warm enough. But you live and learn. Um, coming down, goggles, hat. Uh, goggles are really for if it's really blowing a hoolie and loads of uh, spin drift or dust flying around. Then we've got some of the lower layers. So I've got a couple of uh, Isobar Merino wool base layer tops. Uh, Isobar makes really good Merino wool stuff. Uh, Polar Tech Long Johns, um, which again I didn't have last time. Those are both Rab. Um, <clears throat> a pair of lightweight trekking trousers for low down in the mountain where it'll be hot hopefully. Some Metal Gear. Um, ascender, descender, and various carabiners, harness, three litre bottles, uh, that water won't be going out with me, that's just in there, uh, flask, and then we've got these insulating, um, these insulating covers, uh, just to stop your water from freezing when you're taking it on the mountain, a vast array of gloves, from fairly low down, to higher up, and summit gloves, which are those, uh, outdoor research ones are very good. Hats, solid ground outdoors cap, and uh, montane hat. Then it's just little things like camera, bowls to eat out of, lighter, various head torches, multi tool, uh, cap four um, glasses. They actually adjust with the with the light. I can't remember the term of them now. Uh, Photochromic, I think they are something like that. Uh, anyway, medical kit with all the various different medicines in, painkillers, bandages, all that kind of stuff. Ice axe, trekking poles, crampons, and a new set of straps for the crampons. Because last time I wore the crampons, I wore them on 6,000 metre boots and I trimmed the straps back. When I went to try them on with the 8,000 metre boots, I found the straps were too short. So I'm glad I found that out before I went out. So new straps there to go on the crampons which are in there. And then a couple of pairs of uh, liner socks. I've actually got more socks, more uh, merino wool boxes and more merino wool tights. So that's pretty much most of it. Um, I've got a few other small items that I'm waiting to have delivered. But as you can see, that is a heck of a lot of kit there. And uh, all that down stuff needs to be compressed down into <clears throat> these things, which are... Um, these are very good actually. Sea to summit compression sacks. They're waterproof sacks. The bottom material is event. So when you compress your down stuff down and seal it into that, um, what it does is uh, when as you squash it down, the event material lets air out so you can get it way smaller and tighter than you normally can, but it doesn't allow any moisture in. 
So those compression sacks are really good. Uh, one thing I haven't got on here is my high altitude, super duper mountain equipment expedition sleeping bag. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much the kit. And as you can see, it's an extensive collection and uh, there's some big investment gone into that and collecting it. It's been fun collecting it and researching it over the last few months. So that's where I'm at with the kit, pretty much ready to rock and roll. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.